So folks, today I want to tell you a little bit of a story about why you got to be careful with Bluetooth apps on batteries. I received a Cyclombat battery that was kind of early production and apparently it had a little bit of a problem with the temperature setting on it. So they sent me the login with the app so that I could log into the battery and change the specs on the battery so that it, it would work properly, so that the temperature was correct for the BMS to either shut down the battery or kick it back on again, depending on temperature settings. I made the changes, all was well, the battery worked great, but something happened when I made those changes. What happened was, I've got an XZNY golf cart battery here, and it started to beep at me when I made the changes on the Cyclone Bat. And I thought, what the heck is going on with that battery? That's really weird. But then it quit beeping, and I never thought much more about it. A few days later, I decided to try to use that battery to demonstrate extending the life of a power station by hooking up that battery to the solar port on the power station. It would give me over 5,000 watt hours of extra capacity and potentially charge up to 800 watts through the solar port on that power station that I was using. But when I tried to use that battery, it kept beeping at me and it would not allow me to draw any power or charge it. And it had an alarm and the alarm was COT. Well, I didn't know what that alarm was and the book didn't tell me and I could not figure this out. Nothing I could do would get that battery to work. Well, finally, I reached out to XENY and I explained to them what was going on. And XENY got back to me and they said, well, that's a continuous over temperature alarm, meaning that the battery is just not gonna work because the temperature settings are such that the battery is just not gonna allow you to make use of it until the temperature's correct. So they asked me to log into the system and get readings off the battery so that they could see what it was doing. So I did that and they came back to me and they said, okay, we think what's going on is there's something happened to the temperature settings on the battery and we need you to change them to, to make them correct. And they gave me the login code for the app that they had and I was able to log in, change the settings and everything worked fine. So I think it's important to know that if you have a battery that has a Bluetooth app and you can get into it and make any changes, which I believe normally you can't do unless you get a code from the manufacturer, you need to make sure that there are no other batteries around that also have Bluetooth and you can change settings with the correct password. And folks, that's a real issue if you've got multiple batteries like I do, where two or three of those may have Bluetooth apps as well. And if that app that you get from one of those manufacturers can make changes to the batteries, you better not have the other batteries around if you do it. Because it can cause an issue where it changes the settings on somebody else's battery that makes that battery unusable for you. Thankfully, I had a good contact with XENY and I was able to make that change. And when I did, I made sure that the cycle and bat battery that I had originally changed was nowhere near where I was working so that the Bluetooth wouldn't try to access that other battery. Now, I don't know that XENYs would do that, but cycle and bats certainly did. So just something to pay attention to. I hope it doesn't happen to you, but if it does, be sure to reach out to the manufacturers get the correct information so that you can set that battery back up the way it was. I was able to do that and my XEMY battery now works perfectly fine. I hope that helps somebody out. Meanwhile, I'm going to drop another video right here for you to check out. Thanks for watching, folks. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out.